away or you have to open up two drawers instead of one. So uh, I think this is gonna work. You gotta love Tucker. Oh, Good job. I mean, I like that. I like Mackenzie's thinking. That's an awesome spot. So I like that. That's what I was thinking right by the front part. door. I like that spot, Mackenzie. Oh. Now it's time to find your opponent's search history. Joseph, you're up first. Woo! You have two minutes to search for your opponent's search history. All right. You gotta be quick in this competition. Oh, I guess the, no, I guess the kitchen was. Kitchen was. We're gonna use it. This is a social game at the end of the day. I'm not gonna throw people's clothes around or garbage or anything like that and have people be pissed off at me. This, this comp had to have taken a ton of time. My strategy is to make it as difficult as possible for anyone else to find my memory card. I love the fact that... <laughs> I'm, I respect it. Brooklyn making a mess. But she was the one that was like saying, hey, let's agree not to mess up the house. But <laughs> go Brooklyn. <laughs> She's not even looking. Don't throw the trash. Don't throw the trash. Brooklyn didn't win. I run into the front bedroom and everything is ransacked. I come across this garment bag that's in the middle of the walkway. And I feel this memory card and I'm like, hey, <laughs> I got it. Woo. Quinn didn't win. Thanks, Chelsea. <laughs> I slide the door open. I'm like looking underneath the steps to see if there's any place to hide it there. And I look to my left and I'm like, oh! Tucker! That's a, that's a, that was definitely a good spot. It's a wreck. It's not that bad, though. It could be so much worse. Guess which room is the worst? Mine. It's disgusting. No, no, no. I am furious that I am on the block this week and that I have to try to win. No one took my locker. I'm frustrated. Brooklyn's in mine right now. There's some stuff in the drawers, but no one hung anything up. Oh, I bet they took all the hangers. I had a ton of hangers in there. Parker, you like your clothes all nice and neat? Too bad. Sorry, not sorry. T-Core stuff? Oh, T-Core, your 
crocheted stuff, yeah, it's gone. <sighs> now that I'm done taking my frustration out on the people that did me dirty this week, I should probably find a memory card. Can't think you're slick. There's only two memory cards left in that house, and I'm hoping one of them is mine, and mine does not get found next. Four of the memory cards have already been found, so I'm tearing through this house and making a point to leap over all the couches. I'm not wasting my time making unnecessary messes like Just the decoration. I'm trying to find me another memory card. Damn! 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 Tucker is not happy about the uh, his clothes being thrown. I thought I heard something on the live feed about him blaming um, Brooklyn for it. Every time I go into this house, it's just more and more chaos. There's clothes everywhere, trash everywhere, pillows, everything's on the floor. This is not funny. This is my worst nightmare. And they're the ones I'd have to uh, pick up. I run into the house and there's garbage everywhere in the kitchen. Everything is out of place. Is it really necessary to dump the garbage on the floor? Can you just reach in there and see if there's a big hunk of veto in there? Joseph is hilarious. He put the trash back in the bag, in the barrel. Good for you, Joseph. Four of the memory cards have already been found, so I'm just tearing through this house. This had to have taken a long time. After looking everywhere, there's just one more place I've realized that I haven't checked. Oh! Oh, my God! Congratulations, Cam. You found the final memory card of the game. Let's go! I'm hoping this memory card is... That's kind of interesting you know, because... You know, it didn't look like somebody found Cam. I need to get myself off the block. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. People always. Yeah, pretty cool comp. Pretty cool comp. Oh. Yeah, Kylie, I wasn't on the live feeds in, but yeah, I had to have taken a long time, so the feeds would have been down, obviously. I was wondering if I could get a follow from my favorite BB player. Ellie, just gave you a follow. Five hours at least. That's crazy. Five hours sitting. And it had to be hot out too, so those, that's probably why they were all under tents. I am kind of shocked Andrew's still there. Absolutely. Lexus, I'll give you a follow super tough to follow because of the amount of people that are um, following me. I have been trying to follow people back, but it only allows me to do so many follow backs a day. Um, over, actually, it's not even a day. It's a 24-hour period. So I'm never catching up at this point, um, but I am trying. So if people are uh, looking for a follow back, I, I feel as though um, I should try and give as many people a follow back as possible if I can. So Allie, no problem. I definitely like to uh, scroll TikTok and see what, uh, what other people are doing. I am going to say, yep, to your daughter. Kaylee, what's up? Hi, Kaylee. Nice to see you. Who do I want to win? I want Tucker to win. Gene Upshall, how we doing? Appreciate it. Wow. I like all these little things coming. I appreciate it, everybody. Wow, you guys are super nice. Is Cam in there? Oh. 
Trey, I'm glad you're Team Tucker. I'm Team Tucker, too. I can't wait to hang out with Tucker when he gets out. Hopefully he gets out with $750,000 and he can buy me dinner or something. My mother's over here laughing at me, everybody. My mother's at laughing at me. She thinks it's hilarious. Trey, I'm shocked Angela's still there too. But hey, that's what happens in the game. That happens season after season. Justin asked me if I have any regrets. Um, yeah, of, co of course I regret not um, you know, being able to shake some of my bad days in the house. Melissa, what's up? How's things going down there in Florida? I know you guys are watching. Hi, Emily. I miss you too. Good old Braintree. Yeah, Angela crying over food was crazy. Yeah, Angela, that was kind of crazy considering she gave everything away her first HOH and she was saying how everything up there was any was for the taking. Uh, how long you go without a microphone in the house? You couldn't. You had to have a microphone on at all times. Uh, usually when you went to bed, they kind of wanted it like close by. Um, but there was all microphones above the bed anyway, so they just kind of, they could hear everything anyway. But um, yeah, if you, there was numerous times that I went like to the bathroom or I um, took a shower and then I got distracted and I started walking around the house and I realized I didn't have a microphone on and they would, they would let us know that. But yeah, you had to wear it. Kids have been back to school for three weeks. Wow, yeah, we're not we're not back to school yet up here in Massachusetts. Uh, next week, uh, some schools start, and then um, my kids actually start the first week in September. What, uh, what I like best about uh, Kareem was asking what I like best about the house was the backyard for sure. Um, I really didn't have any expectations on what week I was going to get out. Um, obviously, going in there, you want to go as far as you can. Um, but, um, I mean, my first, obviously, my first... Oh, hold on, we're back on. Ooh. My first goal was to um, was to make sure I made it past week one. Um, but it was tough. It's tough, to, it's tough for everybody. It's tough for everybody. It's tough for everybody. So I feel as though it was a pretty good accomplishment to um, last three weeks. Um, I wish I had my social game was a little better and it could have lasted a little bit longer because it seemed like a lot of people in the house did like me. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Sorry, Brooklyn. You've been eliminated from this competition. Right, Brooklyn's out. I hope that Clint's microchip was also found because he may be the target, and if he's on the block, it's better for me. Can you found the second memory card? And card two belongs to Quinn. And the name inside is... Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Sorry, Mackenzie. You've been eliminated. It's down to Cam, Joseph, and Tucker. Brooklyn, you found the fourth memory card. And the name inside is... Cam. Oh, uh, yeah. We didn't see that one. We didn't see uh, Sorry, the one Cam. Brooklyn found. I don't think we did anyway. Maybe exactly. I, I might have been looking away. Whoever Joseph and Tucker. Will win the Golden Power Vita. It's down to me and Joseph. Joseph's been laying low and playing a great game. But I want this. I hit my memory card in the most obvious spot imaginable. And inexplicably, these idiots might not have found it. There's a possibility that I could actually win this competition without even trying that hard. Cam, you found the fifth memory card. The memory card you found belongs to... Joseph, since your memory card has been found, you have been eliminated. Tucker wins another comp, and it's not even a, it's not even a, you know, physical comp. It's a, it's like a hide and seek. That's crazy. 
it's unbelievable that Tucker is able to win, you know, like an HOH on the wall where it's endurance. He can do puzzles. He loves puzzles. And then he wins this one. Like, I mean, he's obviously a huge Tucker right now, and they are going to have to try and get him out because if it comes down to the uh, final three, um, I wouldn't want to have to go against him in the, uh, the final HOH comp when there's three segments of it. Tina, hi from Wakefield. Stones throw away. Tucker wins another competition. Yeah, Tucker is definitely the Jag of last season. I was actually talking to Jag the other day. Me and him were kind of going back and forth, and I was we were talking about his comp wins, and um, I didn't realize they only count comp wins. They only count HOHs and vetoes. So all the AI arenas and stuff like that don't necessarily count as comp wins. Which is, so Jag right now, I think he I think he did at seven or ten. Maybe he had 10 and Tucker had seven as of as of the other day. I hope Tucker wins. Star K, thank you. I appreciate it. Um I bling blinged out designs. I I don't I I'm not surprised Brooklyn's still there. She played a really good social game. She had a lot of people liking her uh, in the house. You know, she was um she definitely played a mom role and, um, you know, kind of guided people in certain ways, so. Oh, Robin. Is that Robin Robin blinked out designs? Robin Robin. I love it. I love it. I love it, Robin. I miss you. Yeah, Mackenzie need, definitely, um, she needs to win a couple of comps, I think. Mackenzie definitely needs to win a couple of comps. So, I love that Tucker's uh, super mad that um, they threw his clothes all over the place. Uh, I'll be right back. The dog needs to go again. Come on, this side. Come on. Have fun up there. Okay. The battlefield line in the arena, so I'm still coming after you. Okay. To me, Harlem is home. But home is also your body. Last point I'm going to ask myself, why does it... Yeah, I, I actually... Poor Quinn. Who said poor Quinn? Quinn's, uh... I love Quinn. He... But um, he's aligned with everybody. Um, I thought the live he's was saying that um, he was blaming Brooklyn for the uh, close. So I maybe I misunderstood. Um, Donna Wallace, Pittsburgh, PA. Good old Pittsburgh. How are those Steelers looking? I actually was talking to Sam Smith uh, the other day, who clearly is a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. And... Um, Gave me some good uh, good advice on leaving the house and getting back to reality. Oh, they figured out it was Brooklyn later. All right. Um, yeah. Trey Hale, Steelers fan. All right. I'm not. I'm not not a Steelers fan. Well, obviously, I'm from New England, so I love the Patriots. But um, and we had a very good run for a long period of time. Emma from Peabody, Stones Throw Away. Appreciate you signing on. Checking out the uh, the live. Um, definitely be uh, going back live on Thursday. I think um, a bunch of my friends want to go to Stewart's Pub in Everett and um, watch the live eviction. So if anybody's near Stewart's and you know Stewart's, apparently um, the owners of Stewart's were uh, hooking up my family. A bunch of them were going down there and uh, hanging out at the bar and watching uh, the live shows. Um, not the uh, yeah the live show they were live, the live evictions so I think I'm gonna go by there tomorrow 
Melissa, if you if you want to hop on a plane, come down. I'll meet you at uh, I'll meet you at Stewart's. Is it adjustment navigating social media, Camber? Um, yeah, um, I mean, I like navigated social media before. I used to have a lot of fun with it. Um, never to this extent. So, um, I've been learning a lot. Uh, actually, Matt has been uh, Matt's been teaching me um, how to navigate, uh, you know, TikTok and things like that. And um, I, I did learn. I thought Instagram was where you kind of wanted to go live, but. Apparently, um, no, that's not where you want to go live. You want to go live here because everybody can see you. And if you only go live on Instagram, only your friends can see you. So uh, I did learn that, which is huge because I obviously want to get my my message out there to as many people as possible about, you know, being on the show and uh, who, I'm, who I'm rooting for and, you know, having a vested interest in the people that I've met. Um, do I live in Boston? I live just north of Boston. Stone's throw away. Uh, Bubba skincare lover. Yep, I talked to I talked to Matt probably every other day. Maddie from Malden, how we doing, Maddie? Appreciate you uh, signing on. Emily, you're welcome. I like being on TikTok. Tara down in Florida. I'm sure the weather's a lot better. It hasn't been the weather hasn't been too great up uh, in New England the last uh, few days. Although today, finally, the sun came out. Yo, I visit a Maine all the time. Mackenzie, thank you. Appreciate the love. Hello from Arkansas. All right, Arkansas, Arkansas fans. I actually got a um, I got an email today. Um, I don't know if anybody uh, paid attention to the live feeds, but I actually gave a shout out to um, the Bobby Bone Show. Oh, I actually really uh, like the show. The the they were awesome on that show. And uh, a caller actually called into the Bobby Bone show and told them that I gave him a shout out. And um, they talked about it for a few minutes about me being in the house. And um, uh, Lunchbox was talking about me, you know, and his wife was watching the live feeds. Um, so that was pretty cool. And uh, it kind of maybe looks like I might have the opportunity to uh, talk to them at some point, which that's kind of like. Um, it's a big deal for me. I'm a fan of Bobby Bones. He's a um, he loves public safety. Uh, he likes the police. So he always he's always been a good um, you know support for us uh, about the good things that we do. And um, you know I always appreciated Bobby Bones for that and his uh, his crew. Oh, we're back. my mother's waving me over. We're back on, back on. I'll actually I'll, I'm actually gonna play after the next commercial. I'm gonna play the Bobby Bones interview. Oh, not the interview, but the Bobby Bones talking about me. Tucker will respect it this and I can here. make it out of this week alive. Do you have anything to say first? Um, yeah, I know that, that I insinuated with Brooklyn. Uh, he told me I was a bum. Who's the target, me? Yeah. Uh, she told me everything. Damn, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of hurts. Finding out Brooklyn snitched sucks because I really was looking out for her, but I guess all I have to look out for is myself. She's a really good talker. She's ratted on a lot of people. I know Quinn and I have had a ton of beef, hmm? but Quinn. No, I did not. When you first brought it up, I thought that. With with me, in New York City? He was in New York now. Yeah, yeah I was It good. doesn't help me with the, my trust with you anymore, yeah. you know? I understand. I understand that you don't like that I'm a, a bit of a schemer. Yeah. It's well aware now that there was a majority alliance. Yeah, the, the, the collective. I know yeah. all about it. I never actually did anything with the collective. Was it the name of it, the collective? Yeah, I'm gonna destroy. Then there was a smaller one with you, Cedric, Brooklyn, and Johnson. Yes. Yeah. 
but I was down to four on that. I did not want to be a part of the majority alliance. Appreciate you admitting it. Beverly yeah. Flight Center. If we want to yeah. go on a scenic but, flight. But you at least admitted it. There's that. Where's that? Tina, you know, is that Beverly, up? Massachusetts, Beverly Airport? It's confirming a lot of juicy info for me right now. Each little bit is like a stick of dynamite. Paige, it's okay. You're a Yankees fan. You got to support some teams, right? And if you're, you're going to support a team, you support a team like the Patriots who are winners and the Yankees who are winners. And I, 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 can, I can appreciate that. I mean, I'm not a Yankees fan, but I can appreciate loving the Yankees and being a huge fan of the Yankees because that's how I am with the Patriots. It's tough not to, uh, when your home team or your team that you really like wins all the time, it's tough not to, you know, really want to support them. So, I get that. I'm no hater. I don't hate anybody that likes certain teams. Amber, a Celtics Bruins fan. That's what I'm talking about. Celtics and Bruins. All right, let's see what happens here. I kind of know what happens, but I'm not going to spoil it because I did get yelled at on Instagram by this somebody that I accidentally said Tucker was Cameron, the HOH. Brooklyn and Quinn have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to Quinn knows. He's got a nice little smile on his face. I think Quinn knows Before something. Before I do that, I hope everybody is comfortably seated because it's about to get really uncomfortable in here for a lot of people. I know he's gonna do something crazy. It's not a Tucker moment unless everything. Is I love Tucker. Up. I mean, it's, what? He it's just doesn't not. have the personality to ha to play low. So let's go. Like let's. When you don't have the personality to play low, like why would you? Why would you? You have to play to your strengths. We're going on an island for Definitely have to play to your strengths. All right. Like, anybody want to hear the big the Bobby Bones thing for Kenny? I do a little caffeine, but I don't drink alcohol. There's a lot of stuff. They don't smoke. Yeah, I don't smoke. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I didn't hook up. I don't care. I didn't hook up. I mean, look at this. Yeah, you're my little fool. Exactly. Except for the whole beliefs part. <laughs> Basically and that. Uh, play me this voicemail here, right? Hey, Bobby Buns. I just want to let you know that you just got a huge shout out from Kenny, who is a contestant or a house guest on Big Brother this season. I'm watching the feeds and he just gave a big shout out to Bobby Bones and said that he wanted to be on your show once he's not in the house anymore. And he talked about how much he loves you and you're dancing on to the stars and all that kind of stuff. And so he really knows who you are and he's very excited to um, have a possibility of getting an interview with you after he gets out of the house done never even seen the show but dude i, I was gonna tell you we made like, big brother oh it was that you were yes how old is kenny and how did you see it and how did you why did you not tell me i forgot until this lady called <laughs> <laughs> and kenny is probably he's 52 from boston he's a former yeah. undercover cop oh cool and he's got a little goatee he's bald i mean tall dude uh, he was one of the two on the block. You know, Wait, so upper. you're watching? Yeah. Oh, so how did that come up? Like, Who's retired from the show? Randy says retired? he's retired. Yeah, I'm out. You, are you not watching it at all? No, because they introduced an AI host now. And Big Brother said, we don't even care about real humans anymore. We're bringing in AI. That's what you're standing for? <laughs> yeah. Your whole phone is AI, bro. Why do you think your algorithm is? That's been AI for no, years. No, but it's really stupid. The but AI Julie thing Chen is, is out of a job now because the AI bot is what does the, host, the show. Maybe she didn't want to do I'm it. I'm sure there was something. No, she's still there, but oh, they don't is. use her as much. Okay. It's like, oh, it's anyway, I, I don't I really don't care about the AI thing. But kidding, man, yeah. We'll get him on the show. You That's like cool. I mean, yeah, it seems like, I mean, he's only been there like nine days. How did you know he's mentioned the show? Because my wife was watching on the live feeds. So it's not, but it's on the TV show. You guys are watching on the live feeds. I don't watch the live feeds. Let me get this straight. I don't watch the live feeds. I ain't got time for that. You have time to watch eight episodes of Teen Mom. But we will see. It could be on the regular show because they edit whatever's on the live feed and put it on the live show. So it could make it on the live show. I'm a big Kenny guy. I hope Kenny wins. He's my big brother. Is that how you say it? <laughs> no, my big brother's like the eye in the sky. So it's figurative. All right, show's back on. Hold on. So I know all about the collective, all the So that was pretty cool, Brooklyn, uh, Bobby Browns. Giving me a shout Timo, out. Joseph, Cam, uh, Cedric was in it. Quinn's in it. And uh, 
I know you all were going to kick me out last week if I was up there on the block. And I know that there's an even tighter knit group within the collective that is Chelsea, Quinn, it was Cedric, Brooklyn, and Cam. And you know, you guys have a really good Tucker game. blowing it up. That it is. Brooklyn and Chelsea are the main ones in charge of that whole collective and that tighter knit group. So, yeah, there's a lot of liars and a lot of snakes here. So, with all of that said, you know, I have decided to use the power of Vito on Quinn. Vetoed one of the nominations for eviction. I will have to name a new house guest as a replacement nominee. And my replacement is Chelsea. Tucker's shaking it up. I love it. He called out the alliances, which they said you're never supposed to call an alliance, so. Go, Tucker. Quinn because I'm not threatened by him. There's bigger threats out there and better social players. I poisoned the well. No one in there is going to be able to trust nobody. People are going to probably gun for me even harder, but they've been gunning for me for weeks. And I'm still here, so bring it on. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god! We are so back! Now that I'm saved, I get to dive back into my lying lifestyle. I'm gonna build the facade that, hey, Tucker, he saved me, and I'm gonna prove my loyalty, man. But it's the first chance. I'm whipping him out of this game. Now that everybody's game's blown up, now everybody's starting from scratch. I'm not gonna let this chaos distract me. I'm focused on one thing and one thing only, and that's winning this AI arena. How did this game flip like this? What am I missing, and who do I need to slap? A week ago, the Pentagon was strong. We were running things. And now we're about to lose our second Pentagon member in two weeks. And it's not about to be good. Now that the veto is around Quinn's neck, it's clear. Quinn clearly told Tucker about the Pentagon, and now Tucker is out for Pentagon blood. And I knew not to trust Quinn. I have clawed my way out of impossible situations before. This is no different, because when my back's against the wall, I have nothing to lose, and you should be scared of me. Who will win safety in the AI arena? Cam, Brooklyn, or Chelsea? And who will be the next evicted from the house? Find out tomorrow night at 8, 7 Central, live on Big Brother! Wow. Definitely, um, Alexander from Wakefield, how we doing? I appreciate everybody uh, tuning in. This is um, this is a great, uh, great episode. Um, I love the fact that, that Tucker, you know, won the HOH. I, I love the fact that he won the veto. I like that he made the moves. I mean, obviously, you can obviously tell that you can't trust Quinn. Um, and Quinn's been that way since he's been in there. Um, so, um, yeah, quite quite interesting. Um, you know, uh, so, hey, I appreciate everybody uh, tuning in. And, um, again, I'll probably be back on live on Thursday. Uh, hopefully, maybe I can get Matt or Cedric to uh, jump in with me. And um, you know, I appreciate everybody. Thanks for uh, showing the love. And for the other people who are not showing love, that's okay. You have the right uh, to, to your opinion. And um, I'm glad that you guys are um, diehard fans of Big Brother and um, you, know, you take it to heart. Um, but at the end of the day, it is a game. And um, I did my best. So... Sorry that I let you down, but uh, for all you out there, give me love. I appreciate it. Have a good night, everybody.